Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot. I'm Officer Scott, and you're at... You're watching Parasite Eve. Um, so anyway, last time we continued to explore Central Park. We found out that all the zoo animals had escaped and mutated. And now we're at the amphitheater where uh, Eve's concert is about to take place. Let's see if we can't uh, figure out anything interesting here. We should get an interesting scene. Oh, there she is. And there's people in the crowd. What the hell is wrong with these people? The holiday season brings joy to us all. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Ah. Uh, special because I will no longer be under the control of a host. As I have since the dawn of time. I guess she took over Eve, or uh, Melissa. Humans are weak. Mitochondria can self-evolve. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. I have to get backstage and stop her. I love that, well, I wouldn't say I love that scene, but I love the track that's playing. I'm just gonna sit here and let's let the track go for a minute because if you, uh, if you just continue on with the story, it's over pretty quickly and we won't hear it again for a long time. Oh, it's a little girl. This song is called Kyrie, by the way, I believe. Why? Why are you doing this? You again, but you are too late. You will not ruin my plans as you did last night. So it looks like instead of setting them on fire, she like turned their bioorganic matter into some kind of sl raw slime. And she's gone. Stop! And she escaped. Okay, so I guess we gotta go back. I'll just let this verse finish. We'll hear that strike again later, though. The bad thing about it, though, is after that scene, the music for Central Park changes to a much less uh, beautiful track, I guess you could say. Okay, so looks like the little girl led us to where Eve was. Oh, there she goes again. And she actually leads you onward to where you should be going, but you can't actually pass over this body um, until after you see that scene. Okay. There is a gazebo here that has some interesting chests inside, but we're not going to open them because they have um, different items in them. We want to make sure we get a certain ones. So we're just going to pass right through this gazebo. And then, oh, we're, we should find a new enemy here. It is a bear. This enemy is actually pretty dangerous. It's physical attack does a lot of damage. It has this one attack uh, where it does electricity. I was too, way too close to it to dodge it. But, uh... Oh, and we leveled up. We learned heal too. Restored 60 HP. Oh, boy. But you have to be a certain distance away from that electricity to dodge it. And it's very powerful. Alright. Um, let's open this chest. Ammo plus 15. And now I'm going to save at this phone booth here. 
Looks like she like just didn't even reach inside the phone booth. Now save. And then let's head back to the gazebo now. I don't have any junk, right? Oh, I do have one piece. I guess I'll go ahead and put it in this chest. Junk, junk, junk. Alright, back to the gazebo. I wish I could read what that sign says. Information? Oh yeah, that is what it says. Alright, so there are a couple chests in here that you can't really see too well. Alright, we got ammo plus 15. Um, and then... Let's see. The other thing that that chest can be is a tool, which we do want. This chest contains a revive, always. So I'm going to reset a few times um, to make sure that I get that tool. So stand by while I try to do that. Okay, I've reset this game like 12 plus times now trying to get that tool out of that chest. And it's just not working. Uh, and I don't understand that because there's supposed to be a 60% chance that that chest contains a tool. And yet, I still haven't gotten 60% chance lucky. So I think what it must be is that as soon as you enter a screen, that it probably, that's when what is determined is going to be in that chest when that's determined. So, unfortunate, but alas. Alright, let's head this way now. So now we've got sort of like a, ma uh, a mazy path that goes to the park. And we need to follow the little girl there. She leads you the, the fastest way to get to our destination. Nice of her to help us, though. And then, I know we didn't see it, but she goes this way. And then... Let's see. She goes this way. And... Maybe she won't... I like how she kind of shows you where to start going, but then she gets too far off screen. So you can't, like, really know. However, there is a chest, as you might have noticed, this way. And this chest contains either a tool, ammo plus 15, or medicine 2. Ammo plus 15. Damn, I really need to get that tool, so I'm going to reload some more. Okay, guys, it seems that no matter how many times I restart, I'm not going to get the fucking treasure chest I want. It's a miracle I got that PA out of that one treasure chest a couple episodes ago, honestly. I don't know how the chest randomness mechanics work because, like I said, there's supposed to be a 60% chance for a tool to be in this chest as well, but I've tried like seven or eight times and I get ammo plus 15 every time. Which doesn't even make sense because there's like a 20% or a 30% chance of a medicine 2 and a 10% chance for uh, some other shit. So you would think uh, for a medicine 2. So you would think that <laughs> there would be... Uh, I would have to be able to get a tool in here. But, for the record, if you're not like me and you get lucky and find a tool, I would have used that first tool to move the attack plus 2 from the M84F to the M16A1. And I would have used this tool to move the defense plus 2 and PE plus 1 from the SP vest to the CM vest. Maybe I'll get the chance eventually. Okay, so let's take the bottom left exit here. And I think... Yes, there's a treasure chest here as well. And we get an SV Vest 1. And you can see down there it has a special effect of um, letting you carry one more item. whoop de doo How about 10 more? Or 20? <laughs> Another bear here. Oh, and a crow. Alright, let's get rid of the crow first, because it's going to be way too hard to take care of that bear. Oh shit. Ah. It automatically used a medicine 2, as you saw. Um, I meant to use a medicine one beforehand, but oh well. Right, maybe I can get lucky with my bullets here. Alright, let's put some distance because before it uses its electricity again. Or is it gonna... Oh, nope. Here we go. Yeah, there is... Dodging that attack's weird. It's like you have to be at a certain distance, and I'm not sure what that distance is. Okay. We get a medicine one and ammo plus 15. I'll try to remember to use the medicines next time. Alright, we're done here. Oh wait, oh wait, I already got the SV vest. 
Okay, looks like we got more side paths here. I bet this is gonna be either crows or snakes. Or maybe a combination. Nope, just snakes it seems. Stay away from me, you devil snake. Goodbye. And then we got the yellow snake who's gonna come in for the kill. Run, Haya! Too late. Okay. Snake's gone. Ooh, we're, I need to use a medicine one, apparently. Item, medicine one. Be good to go ahead and use that so I can pick up other shit. Let's go this way. There is a... Oh, defense plus one. Uh, let's just use it. On my current armor. And then we'll take the bottom left exit. Which is how to move forward, by the way. Yeah, th th like I said, these paths are kind of a huge maze. Let's go... Oh, wait. Actually, we want to go this way first. We won't follow Maya. Because there is a chest here. Which contains... I think this chest has a 99% chance of containing a tool. And the 1% chance is a super tool. So that's useful. All right, let's go ahead and use that tool. I've got like three options here. I can move over um, a defense plus, I can move um, an attack plus one and range plus two from the P8 to the M16A1. Let's see what's best here. Let's see, um, let's see, we got attack plus two. We've got um, attack plus one and range plus two. Ooh, moving that from the SP vest would come in handy, wouldn't it? Um, uh, let's see. I think that I am going to just move the SP vest stuff over. So let's do that. SP vest, and then move it to the CM vest. And that will give me attack plus two, P energy plus one, and critical plus one. Alright, our uh, defense is that much stronger now. Okay. Now we can exit through the bottom left path where we saw um, the little girl go. And this part got pretty creepy pretty fast, didn't it? <laughs> How are we doing on time, anyway? I think we got a few more minutes. Oh, now we got a big long path here. I think that this is probably going to be... Um, I have a couple enemy fights, probably just one. I don't think there's any screen in the game that has more than one enemy fight in it. I was about to say, is that, am I really going to get it through this whole long damn path without an enemy encounter? What do we got here? Oh, four crows. Interesting development. This is going to be... Uh... Run, Aya. Oh, I gotta, gotta pick off. Shit. How are they picking me? I was really hoping I would get lucky with one of those shots and get a critical. Ow! Bitch. Let's shoot both of those now. Man, that crow came in for the kill. And that other one moved out of range. It's starting to get annoying. Alright, there we go. Ooh, four items. Oh, I'll jump. I'll take as many as I can carry, please. Alright. Away we go. Now, we have another bridge here. Seems to go over a river of some sort. I feel like there was a scene in Spider-Man 3 that took place on this bridge. I know that's really random, but... No enemies here? Surely there would be. Oh yeah, I figured. I think it's going to be a bear again. Because apparently the bears like to hang out on bridges. Oh shit. Two bears and a... Or two snakes and a poison bear? Two poison snakes and a bear? Oh shit. Oh, I got lucky here. See, the electricity like splits off at a certain point. Almost got poisoned there. Oh boy, I have to reload. The bear's coming in for the kill. Oh jeez. Man. I know standing too close to it is, like, a bummer. Maybe I could run around its side. Of course, it's asking for a bad time. Shot him in the ass. 
Yeah, those bears can also body slam you, by the way. We leveled up to level 12. And we got a shit ton of ammo. I like the, sit the view from here. Okay. Now this should be... Yeah, we got like a little fountain here. Which is either frozen or not working. If I remember correctly, it'll be monkeys. Yep, two monkeys. Maybe I can take out one before he gets a chance to attack. Oh yeah, cool. Nice, lucky critical. Oh man, I didn't think its boomerang would reach that far or I would have tried to get closer. Got lucky there with another critical. And 12 bullets. Let's go this way. Because I think there are a couple like hidden chests under the arch here. Let me see, I can already see two chests here. This one contains... Well, I'll never know now. I'll put the junk here. A PE plus one. It could also possibly contain a critical evade plus one. So I'll use that on my armor. And then there's another hidden chest here with a defense plus one, which also could have potentially contained a tool. I'll use the defense plus one on my armor as well. I'm getting really unlucky with the tools here. I haven't found a single one. Let's continue on through the archway. Now, we could have taken those stairs in the previous screen up to get uh, on that road up there, but there's no point as there's nothing up there but battles. Okay. Before we... There's about to be a boss battle, so we want to make sure that we're at least level 12. Yeah, we are. Okay. Two crows and a plant. Hopefully I can get through this without being poisoned. Oh shit, got vined. Well, I'd rather get vined than poison gassed. And the plant's gone. Come here, crow. They're really not that hard to dodge once you know how to do it, but it's just when you get four of them running around that it becomes a little difficult. Oh, he's getting ready to attack. Too bad. Okay. Six bullets and two junks. At least I got to carry a jump. Okay, I'm actually going to save here. Um, that way, I'm actually going to make a separate save file though, that way I can come back and try to get those tools some more if I am so inclined. I doubt I will be, but you never know. Unused file. Let's see, do I want to save, let's save over this one. And we're off. Alright, now how we do it on time. Alright, I think that we should probably stop here uh, before we head on to the boss, and we'll just see how that goes. Oh man, the I think it's going to take two videos to cover the rest of this day, but it's going to be an awkward split. Oh well, I will see you guys next time, mitochondrians, for more Parasite Eve at the Scott Spot. Thanks again.